Grandma, tell us about your uh, military experience here in Oregon uh, during World War II. The uh, the state militia you're involved with, the citizen militia, and uh, finding those uh, Japanese uh, planes. Oh yeah, you know, actually it was quite simple because I was only uh, oh six, seven, eight along in there, and uh, but I was very smart and. Uh, so anyway, they could uh, tell me what I needed to do to uh, spread propaganda so that the Germans and the Japanese realized that this was really a strong uh, fortified, fortified coastline. Nation. And yeah. yeah, the coastline. Yeah. And so... Uh, and, and were you ever in the, any of the lookout towers? And did no, you? there was one at no time. No yes. tie there. And yeah, I was in it because my mother uh, had her duty of going down and, and uh, watching, you know, for planes. And they all they had to identify every plane that flew over. And, uh, every uh, plane you identified uh, if it was American or yeah. Japanese. The, yeah, there wasn't any Japanese. No, <laughs> but, but I mean, was it there? There was an instant. Uh, there was a Japanese balloon that. Uh, um, floated over. It was evidently released off of the Oregon coast somewhere and it floated into uh, Oregon and uh, um, it it landed up between uh, No Tai and um, Hale Valley. Was Hale Valley. Right out in there. Yeah. yeah. And it was up on the hill. Okay. You know. And, and did did it explode, or it was something hikers found, or? Uh, and, you know, I don't remember who found it now, but I do know that lakes. I think lakes probably found it. The, uh, that the had lakes. lakes trout farm. Yeah. Oh yeah. And uh, because Frank, uh, he brought uh, pieces of it to school to show us all for show and tell. <laughs> Oh, even yeah. so, you've seen proof. Oh, oh yeah. man! <laughs> In fact, I had a piece of it once. You had a piece of the Japanese uh, balloon. balloon bomb. Yeah. yeah. Wow. But uh, huh? Over the years, lost it some way, I guess. And wow. Huh? Yeah. I know a lot of people were involved in that protecting the coastline. Uh -huh. I've talked to a couple other uh, uh, guys and said they they helped out a little bit and it's yeah. they said uh this guy i had talked to he said there was a little more to it than we actually hear about as in i mean you mentioned that this balloon was possibly even launched somewhere on the coast mm -hmm. if not a ship right out close to our coast uh -huh. you know and he, he was saying <clears throat> it was uh i don't know we were a little the Japanese had a little bit more going on uh, right on our coast than we, uh, the general population knew about. Oh, I'm so. sure, you know, because uh, evidently it was kind of sus suspected <laughs> because there's a, uh, oh, it's between um, uh, Florence and Yahats. Um, yeah. There's a hill a little bit. that it was just full of foxholes up yeah. there. And there was uh, stands so that you could tell that there was machine guns and different uh, oh, guns yeah. up there. Yeah. You know, yeah. to protect the coastline. He was saying, I mean, at night that possibly, you know, that's when the submarines couldn't be spotted. And yet that's when some of them would submerge the Japanese. Mm -hmm. And that if there was any type of lights along the coast that, that they would actually be shot at by Japanese uh, submarines and stuff. Oh. I don't know how... Japanese submarines or American submarines? Japanese submarines oh, would shoot oh, at the coastline at night. Oh, coastlines? Huh. At, at night, you know. Oh. Would hmm. actually sh be shooting. Yeah. <laughs> He was a storyteller, but I mean, and he had more than that. He was saying there was even some submarines that uh, uh, were sunk along the Oregon coast, and uh, pieces had washed up even on the coastline. Oh, and, is that right? Yeah, huh. but I know even at Fort Stevens, you know, they claim 
Well, they know oh, for a they fact. Did say it was fired. Yeah, it was yeah. fired on by the yeah all sorts of little missiles or whatever. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Grandma's home. It was built in uh, what was it? 1850. <laughs> 1849. You just yeah. you just have the new uh, windows put in. Yeah. That's what it, it's modern. Well, it's modernized. It was just a cheesecloth. Oh, it's <laughs> it was cheesecloth. But you know when I say cheesecloth, it was the wax kind. Oh. No, you couldn't see out. Oh. But it did keep the rain out. It kept the rain out. <laughs> kept you warm in the winter, too. Uh -huh.